Welcome, in this video I'll be taking a quick look at Seraphine, a epic grade debuffer class Elune. Looking at her base stats at 6 star level 60, she has a decent 25.4k HP and her attacks at 4.6k with her physical and magical defense being at 2.8 and 2.9k respectively. Her base attack speed at 110 is quite high so she is pretty speedy and can get turns quickly. As she is transcended up to the max at plus 5, her HP goes to a very decent 38k with her attacks, stopping at a 6.9k and her physical and magic defense still being at a decent 4.2 to 4.4k for an epic. Moving on to her skills, her first skill, Stab. This skill is very important to her, as, it will, as we'll explain later when we get to the passives. This skill deals da physical damage equal to 110 plus 105% of her attack as physical damage. As this skill is leveled up, which I would highly recommend doing, this skill goes up to 890 plus 148% of her attack as physical damage. This skill does have a decent multiplier on it, so giving her as much attack as possible does increase the damage of this skill significantly. Looking at her special skill, Grievous Wounds, this skill deals 170 plus 160 percent of her attack as physical damage. As well, it also applies a weakening effect that reduces the evasion by 5 percent of her attack for three turns. As the 5% of her attack doesn't sound like a lot, it can be quite significant as many things do not have high evasion anyway. As this skill is leveled up to the max at plus 6, the skill goes to a very decent 1360 plus 202% of her attack as physical damage, and the weakening effect that it applies for reducing evasion goes up to a very nice 10% of her attack for 4, four turns. This makes that, eva that reduced evasion last for a long time, and the reduced amount goes up a very significant 10% of her attack, which is very high, making it very difficult for anything to evade any attacks that, any that her or anybody else will do. Looking in at her ultimate skill, Violent Claw, this is a very good skill for weakening targets. This skill is a multi-hit skill dealing 8 attacks, does a total of 280 plus 270% of her attack as physical damage. This skill also applies a weakening effect that reduces physical defense by 40% of her attack for 3 turns. As it is based on attack, giving her as much attack as possible will reduce the physical defense even more. As this skill is leveled up to the max, it does a very nice 1860 plus 341% of her attack as physical damage. The weakening effect also goes up to 80% of her attack, meaning that if you give her an attack buff and apply this weakening effect, the physical defense reduction will be quite high and in many cases can reduce it to zero, depending on the target you're hitting. Her first passive. This passive is decent for her, as it gives her a 20% chance to evade any AoE attack, meaning that if she is in a back line and someone targets anything with an AoE attack, she has a 20% and a 20% increased chance to evade that attack, meaning that they will not do any damage to her at all. This is also important as it plays very well with one of her other passives. Horror second passive. This one, the damage increases by 10% for each weakening effect that is on the target. If she lands the attack as a crit, it will refresh the target's existing weakening effects with less than two turns back to two turns. This means that she will deal more damage as she does apply two weakening effects herself. She can deal 20% more damage just based on her own debuffs that she inflicts. This will also keep those debuffs at two turns constantly as long as she is critting, meaning that they will always have those two debuffs that she applies on them as long as she has good crit rate. Her third passive. This passive is very nice for her and can make her very difficult to deal with. This passive will 
always counterattack an enemy with a critical hit using her first skill, Stab, which is why I said Stab is very important to her to get maxed out. You want it to do a lot of damage. It will always land as a crit when it does counter, and will only counterattack if she evades an attack or if she is attacked by an enemy that has a weakening effect meaning that if she apl successfully applies her weakening effects from her special or ultimate skills and she is attacked by that enemy, she will immediately counterattack with a critical hit on her first skill, which does a very significant amount of damage. This also works very well if you run her with other Eloons on your team that also do weakening effects, such as Arslan that applies an evasion debuff at the beginning of the match, making it that they already have a weakening effect on them as soon as the match starts. Looking in at the skill gems that she has, her first skill, which is red, red, orange for physical, physical, and crit, gives a 5% chance to seal the target for one turn. This is a primary skill that has no other debuffs or anything else that it can do. However, this skill is also the one that will be counterattacking with all the time, as she evades or is attacked by anything with a weakening effect. This means giving it a 5% chance to seal the target is decent as if she gets attacked by a target and she has a chance to counterattack, she has more chances and opportunities to seal that target, meaning that they cannot use skills that consume souls. This can make her very annoying for teams as it can really mess up their ability to do damage because it limits them to using only their first skill if this is applies. You can also go with increased crit rate here, but as this skill always counters with a critical hit, it is not needed so much unless you're just needing to get her critical rate up base for other uses on this skill. Her second skill, this one is a red indigo and orange, meaning that this one gives a 5% chance of reducing their magic defense by 10% for two turns. As it is not that much of an effect, it is not that recommended. This skill does do a nice amount of damage and does do an evasion debuff to him, meaning that the Indigo Gem is still good and recommended and you can apply more. The others are the physical and crit rate ones, which also work well with the skill, so going with the set isn't too bad of an idea as all of them do help the skill's ability in some way. The last skill, the ultimate skill, is the same thing. The red, indigo, orange again. This one gives a 10% chance to stun the target for one turn. As this is the ultimate skill and will not be used constantly, the 10% chance is low. However, it does apply a weakening effect, so the indigo is worth it. It does do a nice amount of damage, so the red is good, and, it, and the increased crit from the orange is also good meaning that you have various options. You can go with an increased debuff or weakening effect with full indigo. You can go with increased damage with the physical damage with the red, or you can go with the increased crit rate with the orange if you choose to do so. However, going with the recommended just for that little extra chance of bonus is also something that is viable, as all the options for both her second and third skills are usable and you can go with full sets of either or a combination. Looking at her dimensions slate, the, the stats you would primarily want to focus on here are going to be accuracy for landing those weakening effects as well as her attack and crit power. The crit isn't so much necessary as you do want her to have good crit power so that when she does revenge with her or counterattack with her first skill, it is doing more damage. This means giving her higher evasion can also be helpful. Giving her that higher evasion means that the, she is more likely to evade those attacks, meaning that she is more likely to counterattack. Having higher accuracy means that she is more likely to land the weakening effects, which means she also counterattacks more. This means that having higher attack and crit power on her means that those counterattacks will be more effective and more destructive to the enemy. 
This can be very good and help her deal significant amounts of damage to the enemy, as the attacks will do a lot of damage, even though it's a first skill. Gear for her can be various things. You can go with various sets. The Baron J set is nice for her as she does apply weakening effects and it does give her increased critical rate when the enemy has weakening effects. This means as she applies her own weakening effects, she gains an increased crit rate when attacking those enemies. The Great Spirit set can help her cycle turns, but it is not needed so much, and just giving her more damage is typically more beneficial to her. Any substats that you can do without going with full gear sets would be still good as long as you can get her good substats for crit damage and attack, just so she can do more damage using those skills. As she only does single target attacks, the good necklace to put on her would be the Great Spirit Necklace as it does increase the damage of single target attacks by 5%. She doesn't necessarily do that do too many multi hits so you don't necessarily need the Baron J Necklace. The Great Spirit Necklace is a consistent uh, increase in damage for all of her attacks as they are all single target. Her speed isn't too important, as she does have decent base speed, it is however important that she does have good attack and crit damage, that she lands those counterattacks as very hard hitting damage. Seraphine is a useful Elune, she can be used for PvP, especially at the lower to mid range level, as some people will find her very difficult to deal with because of her constant counterattacks. However, once you start getting up into the later mid-range or the higher mid-range area in PvP and to the higher ranges of it, you're not going to find her as useful as other things will be able to kill her very quickly unless you have very good stats on her. However, for PvE, she is quite useful and can be used for a variety of situations, including boss fights, where she is needed as a debuffer. If, how, if for example, you're doing a boss fight and you need a debuffer, a female debuffer, to do a daily, Seraphine is one of your better options, as she does do a significant amount of damage, as well as apply useful debuffs for your team to utilize, including that physical defense reduction, making you hit harder with other physical DDs, as, as well as an evasion debuff to the enemy. This also makes it so that if you run her with an, a, an additional buffer like the Miho for increased evasion and crit rate, she also will have a higher chance to evade attacks, meaning that she can be used as a front line against certain boss fights, and you can run her with the Miho to keep her evasion up so that she evades the attacks more often and constantly counters attacks even when the bosses get a turn, if, the, if you are unable to CC them. You do have to be careful with doing her that way as she will need some decently tanky stats and you will need a good healer to keep her alive so when her HP does get low, if she doesn't, if she is unable to evade the attack, you'll want to be able to heal her back up. That's going to be it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and leave them below and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.